Hi, this is Rick with Bright White Paper Company, and in this demonstration, we're going to quickly and easily show you how to uh, print from uh, Windows-based software. Um, as you probably know, with your Education Pro Color Printer, um, it comes with software that enables you to print from any Windows or Mac-based um, software that you're probably using. So, in this case, we're working with Microsoft Publisher. This happens to be a design that I created uh, for a trade show, and what we do is we simply go into File and into print and you'll notice that the print is actually set up for eight and a half by 11s it's actually tiled uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the current page so this is actually the design that we've created that uh, you'll notice that is right over here also what we're going to do is we have to make sure that we're selecting the current printer and we've got the uh, shirt color T3200 at this point. Now this could be the 3000, it could be the uh, uh, 5270, whatever it may be, but the point is it's still the same procedures. All right, we're going to go into properties now. And in properties, this is the actual print driver uh, for our printer. We're going to, we've got 8.5 by 11 selected here. So we're going to go into custom paper size. Normally under user defined or paper size, you're going to normally find all the templates that we've got. And then you select the templates. In this computer, I've just got 24 by 36. So I'm going to select 24 by 36, which is the standard poster size. Um, you'll notice the paper width is set up. Uh, paper length or height is set up as well and we're set up for inches so we're going to select OK here and the only thing you'll notice the uh, graphic is not stretched we want to stretch it out so we're going to go we want to fit it to a uh, paper roll width now you'll also notice this is upside down and uh, just for this exercise we're going to uh, flip that around so we're going to go into layout rotate it 180 degrees and you'll notice that it's now designed so that the way we've designed it it'll come out of the printer and just makes it a little bit nicer so we're all set to go we've got our 24 by 36 we're fitting the uh, paper roll with we're all set up the way that is we can hit OK um, you'll notice that um, this is set up properly if we go into user defined um, actually we want to go into 24 by 36 which we had and it's completely set up for us so now uh, our current page is um, the pro uh, the design that we created we're on one page sheet which is exactly where we want to be the print driver is correct the size is actually 24 by 36 and we want one copy and if we select print we're all set to go with this so um, this is how you do it this is the, how simple this is to set this up um, depending on the design depending on uh, how the ratio is set up um, it'll print um, probably not exactly full size for your 24 by 36 but it should print uh, pretty closely all right we're going to hit cancel here and the next one we're going to do is we're going to go into a pdf now this is the exact same design except in this case I've saved it as a PDF. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into file and um, we want to go into print again and we're going to set this up just about the exact same way as the other one. We've got um, the Epson uh, printer that we want to do. Um, our size or fit. If we go into actual size we're there. So what we've got to do is go into fit go into properties make sure our properties are set up which they are 24 by 36 if not we can go back into user defined or paper size 24 by 36 inches we're all set we want to fit to roll we've already done the layout with this so we've rotated 180 degrees so we're okay with that and like I said we want to make sure the most important thing is to make sure that it's fit uh, once you do that it'll be uh, set up properly and it'll print to approximately that 24 by 36 if you had actual size we're not going to get that shrink over size we're not going to get it so you have to hit fit um, in this case we're all set up and we can select print again and uh, we should get our 24 by 36 so very very simple whether or not we're printing from Windows uh, software and this could be any of um, uh, Word or Excel or anything else that you're designing uh, as well as any PDFs uh, whatever you've got created um, you can select any of the um, uh, uh, the templates that we provided you for if you set something up for a uh, banner or whatever it may be uh, as long as it's designed specifically for that size you should be all set to go so pretty simple stuff and uh, thanks for listening